the streaming world of what he believes to be of quality. But there is, unseen by most, an episodic horror-based TV show. A show that still holds up. A show called Tales from the Dark Side. A Ouija board? Callie, you're playing that silly game again. Hey, what's up, and welcome back to Talks from the Dark Side, the podcast where we talk about the 80s anthology horror television show Tales from the Dark Side, created by George Romero and Richard Rubenstein. I'm Joel Escola. I'm Sean O'Rourke. And I'm Chris Barr. And today we're talking about Madness Room, written by Thomas Epperson and directed by John Hayes from May 5th, 1985. So the Madness House, Joe. Well, it's the Madness Room. Oh, oh excuse me. Excuse yeah, it's me. only one little portion of it. I mean, I would argue maybe there's a lot of madness going on in this house, <laughs> period, but you're right. Uh, maybe maybe a little uh maybe uh, maybe a little chaos, you think? I mean, as we find out at the end, possibly. I, I, you know, I was talking to I mean, we we didn't really get into this, but when I was talking to Chris uh before we recorded, I was like, I had an inkling, then the inkling went away, and then when it came back, I was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> this I see one, what you're doing. Leading up to this episode, like I'm, I'm excited for this one. Are you really like this? I one? I love this one. Yeah. Uh, do you want to know? Do you want to tell everybody why? Should we get into that yet? We, 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 oh, we can right. if you want. It's like classic EC Comics oh, formula here, big time. You have like a like cheating wife. Mm -hmm. There's some scheming going on, trying to get a husband out of the picture to get the fortune and uh, run off with the handsome guy. Yeah. yeah, a much younger wife, by the way. <laughs> yeah. uh, which as I'm watching it, you know, again, we're about to get into it, but I'm like. Okay, I know people like date sometimes and there's like a gap, but this is like a really big gap. Isn't that usually how it is? Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like the younger the wife, the more scheming there is. Yeah, big time. That's, yeah, I just love when there's a story like this. It's a, it's a good time. Yeah. And like, and, and uh, Tales from the Crypt always, yeah. you know, that's like a staple of that yeah. series. So it's fun to see it pop up here yeah. too, because it always works. It does. And it's <laughs> always a good, it's always a fun ride. Oh yeah. So uh, Thomas Epperson wrote this episode, and this is the only thing he's written. Great. Yep. I mean, <laughs> I think he did a pretty good job. Yeah. yeah. Uh, John Hayes directs this, and he's done the end of the world. And should I know what that is? No. Okay. And yeah, I don't know what that is. Either. Jailbait, <laughs> jailbait, babysitter was the other was the other one oh, that stood oh, out. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. The classic, the timeless classic. <laughs> Just like that one from the last episode, I absolutely own on Blu-ray. <laughs> did you get the uh, Criterion release? I did. Yeah, that? yeah. yeah I, I, I even went in the closet. I, I, I grabbed that, and I'm just. Yeah. It was. It was. I went into the. I found it in the Madness room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's where in the, the crack closet in the floor. Is. Yeah, that's where the Criterion closet is in the Madness yeah. room. You go in there. Hey, you know, you're gonna have to pay for all this shit. <laughs> So we got Stuart Whitman in this, played by uh, Edward Osborne, who's done a ton of old television. Like he is in everything. Yeah, going he, back years. Like, like I, I think from like even the late forties, maybe. Yeah, wow. something like that. Yeah, his and, career goes back. Yeah, and done a, a ton of TV and movies. Um, there's a lot of stuff, yeah. and most of it I haven't seen. Sure. Yeah. But I, I it's mean, prolific. It, we don't get the usual star power. It, no, yeah. we've been used to. no. I mean, if you're watching this in, in 85, I'm sure people were way more familiar with him at the time. Oh, yeah. But yeah, coming at this. I mean, you guys are more familiar with the show, as we've talked about many times in the past. But me in 2022 is like, look up his name. I'm like, oh, OK, he's been like 50 or 60 movies. Good for him. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a lot of stuff. And he's then, good in this. Yeah. And then Teresa Pear plays uh, Kat, what is it, Kathy Osborne, his wife, his young wife. Cheating wife. The only movie I recognized her from on her IMDb was Jailbait Babysitter. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Guys, so we see, there's the connection. Yeah. Comes full circle. And then we got Nick Benedict as Michael Fox, who's like a fucking dime store wings hauser. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. That's the best way to start. Yeah, wow. It kind of looks like yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, you're 100% right. I was trying to place it the whole time. I was like, this guy looks really fucking familiar. <laughs> but it's not him. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But back, yeah, when this shot, it's like uh, Wings Hauser was probably too expensive. Yeah. Which Big is time. saying a lot. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, he's still, so hopefully he's still around and not too expensive when we get to a certain thing yeah. that we want to make and produce. <laughs> but um, but yeah, uh, why don't we uh, get that old Fangoria yeah, on the, the horn? Let's do it. <laughs> 
All right, so here's the official episode synopsis from Fangoria. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> yep, it's yeah. <laughs> <I can't laughs> start. Yep, it's yet another EC Comics love triangle. There, there it is. Bingo. Wow, yeah, perfect. Sums it up. Nailed it. Actually, you know what? This does give a little bit of a spoiler to it. I mean, so it's I okay. Think I'm gonna. Yeah, 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 just do it. Go it's into fine. It. I mean, we right. kind of already said there's a cheating wife, and you don't really get that okay. confirmation in the last minute. All right. So, yep, it's yet another EC Comics love triangle. Kathy, the pampered, conniving wife. In parentheses. <laughs> All right, Edward. The, Air quotes. Yeah, Edward, the rich, ailing husband, and Michael, the young stud, scheming to marry money. <laughs> I don't know about stud, but okay. I'm, Actually, I think we were watching it before, and as soon as she opened the door, and you see his face, my wife's like. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> like in the <laughs> background. Yeah. yeah, he's not that much of a young stud. Sorry. He's probably like 45 in this episode. Oh uh, my god. I don't yeah. know what she sees in sure. me. <laughs> this time out, the greedy lovers use a Ouija board and the legend of a madness room to get rid of a hubby. The hubby? Of hubby. Of hubby. Yeah. No the. Just Hub- get rid of hubby. Hubby. Look. Right there. <laughs> get rid of hubby. Thanks, Fangoria. Fucking hubby. Who's writing these? Yeah. The obligatory otherworldly intervention arrives via the room's resident haunt. I don't mm. think that totally spoiled it. No. I, I don't think that totally spoiled it either. Okay. And then we can kind of get down to the nitty gritty of that. I think I the thing I like most about this is like where it goes. A hundred percent. Yeah. It's like just when, at least what I feel, is like just when you think you know, like, oh, they're going to do this. It's like, nope, here's something else. And then when you think you have it figured out then, it's like, hey, here's something else. Oh, it totally subverts yeah. the expectations, but in like the best way possible. Yeah. Yeah, no, I would agree. Because like I was even saying a little earlier, it's like, you know, you think you figured it out, then you're not sure, then you think you did, and then there's like that final moment where it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And again, going back to like the EC Comics Tales from the Crypt, it's like a lot, of, their staple is like the scheming wife and, you know, killing someone off for insurance money. Even um, look at Demon Knight. Demon Knight? Oh, in the oh in the, right in the beginning, yeah. Yeah. They had like a fake thing where it was like the woman, you know, wife killing off her husband for insurance money. Yeah. The dead guy comes back for revenge. That's like the staple. It's of all a staple those. all through yeah. the house. Is yep. it, that's the same story? Uh, the 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 one the one with uh, Michael Ironside. It's the yeah. Same one. The one even from Cat's Eye. Yeah. It's the same one. <laughs> it's like the formula. Yeah. It's like just change the setting, change the means of how they kill him, yeah. and how they get their comeuppance. And this is like it plays with that formula. It's like I'm sure this was a love letter, like the Fangoria guide said. Big time. Two EC comics. Yeah. And you can put you can put a crime story or you can put a ghost story or yeah. you can put a monster story yeah. or whatever you Sometimes want. Sometimes the works. best ones are all three together. Oh, big time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you're doing this all in, what, 25 minutes? Yeah. So, uh, we, we kick this off, though, with uh, this old man mm-hmm. who's immediately, you, you think he's going to have a fucking heart attack in the first minute. Yeah, it's totally, it's right out of the gate, it's established he's got a heart problem and yeah. he's taking pills because he like. He's like know. reaching into his shirt for him. <laughs> I guess why not? I, I don't know why I found that funny. I was just got a pocket in there. I don't know. And like this guy already knows that his wife is unfaithful because he's just like, you know, I don't know why you put up with an old bastard like me or whatever. And then she kisses him. She's like, because you're such a good kisser. Yeah. And he's like, hey, that's right. I am. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> not because I'm rich. I, not because you're rich I, at all. Yeah. But Yeah. I mean, I didn't get that vibe, but no? I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. I think he knew. A little bit. I'm, I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. He seems very like, uh, but we'll get to it, but he seems very like matter of factly at the end. Like, yeah, <laughs> I figured. Oh, so. uh, well, yeah. true, true. Uh, so what is this? Like his accountant or something that shows up? It's his lawyer. They're closing a deal on some kind of plastics factory deal so, or something like that. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, I was all right. B- uh, generic business. Generic stuff. business. Blah, yeah. blah. But I love the wife's like, oh, I didn't know Michael was coming over. <laughs> <laughs> Big surprise. Hey. Oh, didn't expect you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wait, make it a little more blatant. So he comes in and he's like, oh, you know, we, we, you, I'm going to I'm going to work all this up for you, Ed. We, everything's going to be great. We're going to we're going to make a lot of money and we're going to make a good deal and blah, blah, blah. So he goes to leave and she's like, wait, stay. We want to want to play a game with you. <laughs> the Ouija board. <laughs> we, we like a squeegee. That's how you Ouija board guys, isn't that how you say it? No, Ouija. Oh. Ouija. I don't know. When you were I a pronounce kid, it Ouija. Wija. Wija. Ouija. Ouija. 
Uja. Did, when you were a kid, and did everybody say Ouija? Probably. Yeah. I when I was a kid, everybody said Ouija board. Yeah, yeah, Ouija board. That's just how it's been. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm poking a lot of fun here. Oh, no, I'm just saying. Fun. I mean, even before then, I mean, really, it's a, it's a spirit board. Ouija's just the TM version that Parker Brothers put out. Sure. Yeah. yeah. The kid friendly version. The g- <laughs> yeah. For th- Summon demons. Thirteen and up. Yeah. No. No ghosts included. It's so funny to me. Just real quick, I want to divert just for a second be, about Ouija boards because, like, they weren't really demonized until the exorcist came out then after the exorcist came out it was like a whole thing where they they associate with the devil because a a lot like in victorian times they used and even before then it was like a game at Mm -hmm. parties and stuff Mm -hmm. where oh let's get out the spirit board and communicate with the spirits or whatever because all of that kind of um i'm forgetting the word for it uh uh, like paraphernalia uh secular okay type type stuff interest in the occult and interest in spirits and ghosts in the afterlife and stuff wasn't associated with necessarily demons you know what i mean so they did it at like parties and stuff for like a goof it's like a satanic panic effect which well no that 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 group adopted as soon as this was associated with demons and demonology and things from the exorcist then it became uh a weapon of the catholic (laughs) church well i mean that's what i'm saying to be like oh that's too bad you know my dad still scares the shit out of my dad uh a Ouija board because he thinks that it's like you know yeah. that's where it comes from throw from the, the throw in the garbage yeah yeah, yeah my exactly. father in law or uh, my mother in law rather she uh, doesn't want it in the fucking house but exactly it, that's what I'm saying it's like whatever. superstitious it's crazy I- I'm kind of anyway I mean there's that double edged sword that you just have people having to deal with this BS for the yeah. last fifty years but there's so many great movies and stories that have kind of come out of that that I'm like like Ouija no. It sucks. <laughs> the, the prequel's good, though, at least. Go check it out, I it's, guess. It's just funny to me because it's like a a, a, a recent uh, superstition. Yeah. yeah it, it doesn't go It doesn't go. That it doesn't go it, what, when, when's the Exorcist come out? 1975? Uh, 19, 70, four? Four? Yeah, mid-70s, for yeah. sure. So, like, it's not old. It's not that old. No. You know no. what I mean? <laughs> it's less than 60 years. Yeah. Which is crazy. Oh, yeah, and at the time of this episode was created with, within a decade of it. Yeah. But that's funny. Um, but yeah, they break it out and they're like, oh, you know, the uh, the wife's like, yeah, you know, there's this ghost in the house. Ben, we call him Ben. He lives in the board. Benjamin Fairchild. He used no, to he own was, this house. Yeah, the original owner yeah. of the house. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, let's talk to him. Well, why not? <laughs> it's like, all right, it's kind of weird, but all right. She like claims that she's been talking to him. Yeah. Uh, oh, and it's yeah. Ben. He lives in the Ouija board. Hey, but Captain Howdy's in the Ouija board. I mean, again, we come to find out that you maybe have been planning this for a while. So... I don't know what you're talking about. This is a real ghost. <laughs> we'll get to that. Very legitimate uh, yeah, game we're playing here. Yeah, yeah. 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 No one's moving it on <laughs> no, their own. Will. Yeah. yeah. This, it's like, it's very sophisticated, like like the seance in The Changeling, mm-hmm. you I, know? I, I Yeah, yeah. Chairs are moving around oh, and yeah. shit. Yeah, obviously. Automatic writing? No, that doesn't happen. Yeah, just, yeah, just like in the, uh, what, I was going to say, The Conjuring in, uh, what was the other, the Insidious. You got fucking Len Shea with the gas mask <laughs> yeah. on and everything. That's actually a cool, that's a cool yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So- She's like, so she's playing with the Ouija board. The Ouija, Jesus, now I'm saying it. She's playing with the Ouija. Why'd you do that? (laughs) Okja. Is that the Bong Joon-ho movie? Oh my God. I still haven't seen that yet. I need to see it. Yeah, it is good. Uh, Environmentalism. Um... (laughs) <laughs> what the fuck was I saying? <laughs> Who knows? You're talking about the I don't region. know. Dude, yeah. Fuck it. We're off the rails now. <laughs> the she, she's basically talking to the board and she starts spelling stuff out like the man. Where are you, Ben? And she, he's like, he's in the Ouija board. And then she's like, <laughs> what? Where? Where, 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 is where in some, the house are you? Yeah. And he's like, oh, madness room. And she's like spelling it out. And then Ed's like, huh? That's a little weird. I believe. In, I do believe in spooks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like doing it with Michael and they're like moving it around again. And um, by this point, they figure out that there's a madness room hidden in the house. Then the, it's like fire, brick, ring. Yeah, they're, they're really like reaching being on Being led this. to how to get to this madness room because they're all like, they're all freaked out. Music's ramping up. Yeah. Getting all creepy. We're getting some tension here. Yeah, the music's actually really good in this yeah. episode, and I don't know if it's, you know... It's we, definitely replaced, but... It's still good, though. The yeah. replacement music's good. But, for, so... <sighs> this will make more sense later, but, like, she just happens to be like, oh, fireplace, this brick is loose, and she, like, takes this brick out, and she, uh... Well, she says ring, and there's a ring attached to the brick. She finds a key, though. Yeah, hidden behind the old brick, behind hidden, a fireplace. Hidden in the fireplace. And we were talking about this before... 
about hidden places in houses and how like when like I moved into my house, I always I, I was hoping to like find some kind of secret passage or like something. Yeah, yeah where, where the boy lives, obviously. Exactly right. Yeah. But you got a good story. Oh, with finding hidden rooms. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this was forever ago, but so me and a buddy used to run an old theater mm -hmm. in you know back in New Jersey. And it was old, built in, I think it was like 27. Yeah, that's crazy. Shout wow. out to the Baronet Theater. <laughs> Rest in peace. So it's been torn down, now replaced with like new Asbury Park stuff. But yeah, we ran a theater, playing old movies and stuff. So one night we we're like poking around the projection room, like upstairs, just, you know, getting a feel for this old theater. It's creepy on there. Yeah. And we're just like hanging out and like probably midnight, something like that, poking around. All of a sudden a wall just kind of got our interest. No seams or anything, just a solid wall. But part of the paint, was sort of just like off colored. Yeah. I'm like, this is kind of weird. Like, <laughs> fuck it. This is like, let's start poking around and see if this is like, it's like one of those jokes. Like, oh, there must be an old door here. Well, yeah. And from all the movies and shows we've seen, we're like, shit, I let's yeah, fuck exactly. with it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, this goes somewhere. Yeah. So we're like poking around. All of a sudden, like the, the wall popped off a little bit. Oh my where, God. Where like a piece of the paint from the wall just kind of like separated. Shifted out. Oh man. So like, what is back here? <laughs> so get, we're just completely creeped out. So we pull it apart. There's a secret bathroom hidden behind a wall. With like all sorts of old film. There's E.T. back there. Some like Swedish oh, like uh, softcore movie. That's crazy. They were all taking sorts of weird spooky stuff. dookies back there. Yeah. You know? But it was the weirdest thing. Just some like <laughs> secret room with a little shower and everything. But why would they, why would they like, first of all, why would they put the films in there and then wall it off? Like I bathroom. think somebody just got crazy with sheetrock. Uh, yeah. Fuck E.T. It's going back <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> but it was weird. Yeah. Finding like a little secret room. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good story. Uh, that, yeah, that's creepy as hell, though, I will say. I, I, I wonder what your boss thought the next day when they saw the wall ripped down, right. yeah. but... I don't think they cared. We didn't have a boss. Yeah. Oh. When we were doing this, we were just giving keys to an old theater. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. he didn't, like, run a movie theater. They showed movies there, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, got you, got you, yeah got someone you. gave us keys, and we just got away with whatever... We were playing uh, amputee porn one night. <laughs> oh, oh, long Jean Silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God. All sorts of stuff. That was before we we met. Yeah, yeah. That was like some of the best. You times. tell me that story though. We played Solo on Christmas Eve. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, as that like yeah, is a, rough. like a you know tie and formal. It was a formal event. I love that. Yeah. We should do that. It was a lot of fun. Movie dump. We're gonna do a, a movie dumpster show <laughs> that we're gonna we're gonna play Solo and we're it's gonna be a black tie event. <laughs> Eating chocolate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I be blindfolded during the entire film? Because I hate that movie. Yeah. You hate it? I hate it. It's wow. just too much, man. It's, it's, it's great. It's just too fucking much. I don't know about, that's the point. I, I know. Yeah. I know. But I'm good. I'm kind of yeah. good. I don't know if great is the word. It's worth it. Yeah, it sounds weird the, to be like, that movie's great. Yeah. I mean, if you're but into this for shit. What, for what it is, but on a, from like an art level and yeah. like a technical standpoint. I think it's amazing. I think it's a uh, yeah, really I, good film. <laughs> I would say if you like this kind of stuff, you should probably at least watch it, but I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'm very good. You don't want to get in on the circle of shit? No. no. Okay. <laughs> so then they... <laughs> So yeah, so they so they get this brick out of the fireplace, and there's a key yeah. and a map to and and Ed gets it and he's like, all right, turns out there's a hidden room upstairs in the west wing. I don't, it must be walled up because there's no door up there. I had no idea. Now we're going to like Scooby Doo territory. Oh yeah, got oh, the old God. dusty map hidden behind the fireplace. It's also comfy, man. I this yeah. is the shit that you dream about, right? Yeah. Like like wow, that's cool. So a spirit has pointed us in the direction of uh, not only a key but a map to a hidden room in a giant mansion. What could be in there? Well, Treasure hunt in an old mansion. Oh, my yeah. God. Sign yeah. me up. There's also like this backstory that they talk about where it's like, oh, yeah, you know, this woman, she, you know, the husband of Bill, the original owner, like she had a pistol in this room and she went crazy and shot him and then shot herself. And it's like, OK, I guess. Yeah, let's find the evil ghost that killed herself and her husband. OK. Yeah, they like murdered himself in there. I don't. I, it's just they don't go to the room for money or anything. They're just going to. Out of like curiosity, uncover the mystery. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess they're trying to set up what their th their plan is or what have you. I know, but from if you separate the yeah. two, you had to like plot all this out. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah. So well, like, yeah. Uh, so they're going down the hallway, and I'm just thinking of fucking Judge Doom and, and Roger Rabbit tapping on the wall, trying to find where the hollow <laughs> point is. <laughs> Shave and a haircut. <laughs> Yeah, so they find it, of course, and Ed's like, oh, this might be it. And he's got a fucking, he's got a crowbar and a pickaxe, and he hands uh, Michael the pickaxe. He's like, all right, start start hitting. <laughs> my my old ticker's not what it used to be. Uh, Can you knock this wall down? 
And there's a metal door behind the wall, yeah. which is really cool. And it's black. Like, it yeah. made me think, uh, which maybe is a homage, uh, this old uh, Boris Karloff movie. I think mm-hmm. it's actually called The Black Room. Okay. Uh, which, spoilers, it's, you know, I won't go into the whole thing because it's worth watching, but it's a story where uh, Boris Karloff has a twin, and there's, like, a good twin and, and an evil twin, and the good uh, twin gets, like, thrown into this room, and it's like, falls into a fucking pit. Mm-hmm. Spoilers, uh, again, it's, it's an a 80 fucking year old movie. <laughs> yeah, let me get spo- uh, spoiler Boris uh, there, there, There's movie. this whole thing about how the good one's going to kill the bad one. Look it up. It's good. Yeah. Uh, didn't they do like a Simpsons riff on that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the rest of it has no, no other comparison to this, but it made me think of it. So they, so they open this door and it's like this old room. There's like dolls hanging from the ceiling. There's like raggedy it's things. Pretty it's pretty creepy, yeah. man. Um, and they go in and he's like, huh, now what do we do? Oh, by the way, there's like a rhyme that we forgot to talk about. I can't remember it at all, except the end of it, because he like spells it out. And at the end, it's like, it's like, lock the door behind us four and drop the key in the crack. In the floor? In the floor. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, on the second they locked this fucking door, I'm like, that, are you a bunch of assholes? Well, yeah, but like that's to, I don't know what, release the spirit or like solve the mystery or whatever. So uh, I guess on the off chance that someone happens to be walking down the street in this secluded area and here's the next five minutes of the episode. Well, I guess. Well, no, nobody else is in the house. I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to connect dots, Joe. That's all. Well, Kathy is like in the corner of the room and she like mm-hmm. ends up picking up uh, the diary. Of the woman who killed herself? Well, just in one last key point, yeah. she has a pistol. And they're like, whoa, why do you have a pistol? Oh, it, she's yeah. Like, well, yeah, just in case. In, yeah. yeah. She just, just pulls a gun out. Yeah. And, he's like, just and then her. that's where it cuts to commercial. Yeah. So you oh, think yeah. she's going to like, you know, like. Um, shoot him and put him in the room him, or something, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Then it comes back. She's just, they're like, what are you doing with a gun? And she's like, oh, to protect myself. And yeah. he's like, honey, it, you can't shoot a ghost. What are you talking about? <laughs> she's unless, like, unless it's Ghostbusters 2016, obviously. Oh, God. Anyway, yeah, you're right there. Yeah, uh, we, uh, we cover. There's a commentary track on, on Patreon. Go check it out. Uh, you're right, though, Joe. She's in Bless the Bless you for the shill. Uh, yeah, well, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> patreoncom slash up Thanks, Chris. Uh, she's there with. The, she's reading the diary in the corner. Yeah, she's reading the diary, and she's basically she. It's kind of fucked up because she's like talking about like, and the baby wouldn't stop crying, so I drowned it or something. Yeah, yeah it's and brutal. She, she almost gets like uh, possessed by the 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 wife of of uh, um, what's his name Ben Benjamin Fairchild. Oh, ben, yeah, not Bill. No, old Bill. Old Bill. Yeah, <laughs> old Benjamin. Old Benjamin. She's starting to freak out. So. Ed, I think Ed's the name of the actor. I keep calling him Ed. That's fine. Anyway. Yeah. No, no, no. The old Ed, Ed, Edward Osborne. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, Ed goes to the door and he's like, oh, well, the rhyme said if we lock the door behind us four, me, Michael, Kathy, and, and ben, ben, that's four, and then I lock the door and then maybe that'll stop the thing. And then she like freaks out even more and he's mm-hmm. like, oh my God. So uh, she ends up pulling the gun out. Right. And she's like, nobody's leaving this room. Yeah, and just he, the switch turns on. Yeah. She goes full on like madness. He, he, madness yeah. room TM yeah, because TM. <laughs> it's like she's it's like she's possessed. So um she shoots Michael in the chest and and Ed like has a heart attack and like freaks out and like falls down. Yeah. Well then she shoots herself in the head as yeah, it's all happening. Yeah, and then she too, shoots her yeah. head self in the head too and then he like has a full heart attack and like <laughs> maybe dies. Yeah, and right here, before we go any further, it's yeah. like right here, you're led to believe that when they were talking about, oh, anyone that enters, enters the room goes crazy yeah. and they just can't control themselves, you think that's actually happening. It's great. And then it's like, you know, like you think Kathy is actually like going insane, you know, shooting everyone and just going crazy. Yeah. And this is where the fun happens. <laughs> oh, right? yeah. Oh, big time. It's like Ed has a heart attack. He drops on the floor. She, you know, shoots Michael, shoots herself. You're like, what is what is happening now? What? <laughs> yeah. And then Michael, like, you know, he's like bleeding and stuff. Starts blinking. Kathy, OK? Yeah. So, Waking up. Here's our twist. And she's like, she's like, you're a genius. Shot me in the exact him. right yeah. spot where I had that ketchup packet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this. Oh, so we were talking about Tales episodes, too. This is almost like verbatim. Uh, strung along. Yep. The episode strung mm-hmm. along with uh, Zach Galligan as a special effects yep. guy. Uh, I just have to clarify. One of the best episodes. It's so good. I yeah. can't wait to get to you that said one. said Tales. I'm assuming. Uh, oh, Tales from the Crypt. Okay, Excuse okay. me. I'm sorry. 
Got a lot of tails going on. Yes, yeah. Well, there's two tails. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and, and, you know, Ed's like, he's on the floor about to keel over, but he's like holding on for dear fucking life. And he sees this and I'm like, ah, no hard feelings yet. We just really wanted your money. And yeah, he's like, he's still alive, like yeah, not officially. Yeah. 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 He you grabs think- the fucking key. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll hold my phone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> because this is where, you know, the master plan comes mm-hmm. out. You know, the, the bad guy waxing about how smart they are. Um, she says like, yeah, remember when we had the house renovated like six months ago? Well, I found this room, just a regular room. And then I dressed it up. it up. I dressed it up like this. So it looked all yeah, crazy. Well, he was in the hospital or something. Yeah. And- um, and then she's like, well, you, you had a bad ticker. So I figured I'd just scare the shit out of you and hopefully you just die. <laughs> so she had it walled up. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Cause like, it's like it's, wouldn't he remember there's a wall here? I don't like, know, imagine a, going to your bedroom and be like, Hey, <laughs> where'd that big, door go? It's a big house. And he mentions West wing. So it's okay. like, this is a giant sprawling mansion. Yeah. And this guy never uses all of the rooms. What happened to that other bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's my copy of E.T.? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, so as he's about to die and they think they 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 beat him, I guess, he grabs the fucking key. I gotta put it in the crack. <laughs> Maybe that'll break the curse. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, you know, he dies and well, he doesn't die because. Oh, we got right. we got Holy one more. Shit. twist. There's, there's one more great twist because. They think he's just going to go and he's like, he's like, what if I don't want to die and I don't, I refuse to die. And then like Wings Hauser light like grabs the pillow and he's like, well, we'll just help you along there, kiddo. By the way, they, instead of a flashlight, they've managed to bring a lantern, a lit uh, oil lantern, oil burning lantern. Forgot about this. Old guy's like looking at him and he like reaches around right behind him and grabs the fucking lantern. (laughs) Does his weird like. Huh. And, and just, just like throws it. it into oh my the- god! He alley oops this motherfucker yeah, right in the curtains. Right, to- and the fucking room goes yeah. ablaze. Now we got a structure fire. <gasps> His final act of of life. Um, and they can't get out because the- he put the key down the crack. And he's like, "Well, why did you tell him to put the key down the yeah. crack?" And she's like, "I didn't do it. You did it." And he's like, "Why don't you have a spare key?" He's like, "I thought you had a spare yeah. key." Kathy and Michael are like panicking, yeah. trying to figure out how they're getting out of this now locked a- room that's on fire. Now it's a they're panic room. Smoke. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, and they're like not even trying to get low to the ground, so they're already asphyxiating oh, yeah. with the smoke just hitting them in the face. Yeah, but then there's one last and twist. And we got one more twist. Oh, man. Go ahead. Do you want to do it? Go ahead. This is one of your favorite episodes. It is. All right. And then, <laughs> so they're try- They're like frantically trying to yeah. escape. And then they're like, why'd you leave that last bit about dropping the key down the down the crack? They're like, what are you talking about? I thought you did. It's like, I thought you had another spare. So they're going all crazy. Turns out Ben is actually real. Benjamin Fairchild, yeah. the original owner of the house. So Ben told them to drop the key down the crack. <laughs> so here's our extra twist. Oh and it closed cherry on top. There's like a, a shot of like a, a portrait of Benjamin and he's going, <laughs> yeah. fuckers. Yeah. yeah. Very haunted mansion esque. Didn't save the old guy. Eh. No, fuck the old guy. Yeah, I know, but like yeah. let them go through the whole plan. And then we're like, all right, I'm really going to fuck with these people. Yeah. They're all dead now because it's my house. I want you all out. I, I mean, like Chris said, and even like that description he read said, I mean, those EC comics, they're yeah. just kind of like fucking with you down to the last second. Big time. And there was something that Chris and I uh, noticed at the at the end of this. Oh, the last of, shot. Instead of just yeah. closing on the, the portrait, like with the flames around it, burning so that like oh. you can like process it more like, oh, it was the ghost the whole time. Which is how these episodes usually end out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you got one final shot, just have the credits over. And we get that, but then you get a, like another, like an extra ending shot. They were like the exterior of the house. Yeah. yeah. They were like, we built this fucking miniature of this mansion yeah, and we're yeah. using it by yeah. golly. And now it's on fire and you know, smoke's yeah, the smoke's coming out. Uh, and the room is on yeah. fire. Yeah. It's good. Oh, by the way, how is there smoke billowing out? Because when dude opens the window, it's all bricked up. Yeah, if the room's sealed, that's what I thought. Yeah, um, yeah. Where's the I, smoke coming from? I mean, mm-hmm. eventually all those walls are getting burned and it's spread into the rest of the house. Yeah, so. Well, sure. And it just looks cool. Like you no, said, they built cool. the miniature. Yeah. Let's let's burn the motherfucker. It was cool, though. Yeah. It's a cool shot. Which I didn't even really, like, pick up on that it was a miniature until it was burning. I was like, oh, they didn't really burn this fucking house. This is, oh, this is a great looking miniature. Damn. Well, well, that's the only thing we, go to, we I can think of because, like, why would they show the shot again if not to have, like, the establishing shot and then to show it at the end just to... Because they spent the money. <laughs> yeah. it, just, it felt out of... Like, I, I get what they're yeah. doing, but it just it felt out of place having another... Just compared to what we're used to. Yeah. yeah. It's like it usually has that real close up shot, mm. real slow, and yeah. you kind of absorb the episode. It's like, hey, the house is on fire. Do you get it? 
<laughs> just in case yeah. you didn't realize the cool. house it was on fun. fire. No, like, it, it felt out of place compared to the others. They had, totally. They had to fill 10 more seconds. And they're like, we got this footage right? of it fucking burning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> throw it in there. So, uh, so yeah. What, what do we what do we think about this episode? I love this one. It's it's fun. It's yeah. a you know nice twist and it's a fun ride. And um it's a good time, especially again going back to DC Comics, Tales from the Crypt. It's like every good story starts with like a scheme. Oh, big time. A scheming couple, and then you know what's better than a double twist? A triple twist. <laughs> and it's like that's what we got here. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh yeah, I agree. I, I like this one a lot. It's definitely not at the top of my list. I mean, we've got a long way to go, but it's I like this a lot. It's a it's a good kind of like like I was saying, and like Chris kind of just said, you're like going back and forth thinking, oh, I think I figured it out. Oh, wait, maybe I didn't. Oh, maybe well, like, I don't know. It really made you think as you're watching it. Um, and I'm a big fan of doing that. If you've watched this show, you might know that trying to figure out where we're going with with mm-hmm. the story. And it just kind of kept me on your toes. And it was a uh, it was a good like supernatural story that kind of reminded me of like um, House on Haunted Hill in a way, the Vincent Price version. Uh, but obviously, then you get that final twist that, oh, wait. I kind of like that movie too with the skeleton at the sure. end but I, I really liked it uh, it's a fun uh, 25 minute version of one of those movies and uh, it doesn't beat you over the head or anything no. it's not overly scary but it's like a good uh, uh, horror themed episode at the same time totally and just like you said like I, I want to highlight that you mentioned the 22 minute episode and it's like mm. this is a great trope to put into this 20 minute uh, slot yeah. especially for like for like I'm waiting next week for this episode and we're going to get one of these jobs mm. and it's actually written like super well and concise it's for tight. the runtime yeah. yeah it's nice and tight um but it breathes enough to where it's not like rushed or sloppy um and I don't know it's just again I I think I'm a little biased because it's cozy yeah. With that Tales from the Crypt, like that EC Comics yeah. feel to the whole thing. I know I'm definitely giving extra points because yeah. of Tales from the Crypt, like completely unrelated. Oh, big time. But like it always works. This this yes. it always works. It's always fun. And it's like a pulpy, uh, uh, supernatural uh, crime thriller mystery, you know, yeah. um, and it works really well. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a great episode. Totally agree. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, that was Madness Room, and until next time, I'm Joel Escola. I'm Sean O'Rourke. And I'm Chris Barr. (laughs) Tales from the Dark Side is always there, waiting for us to watch it, waiting for us to hit play. Until next time, Try to find it on DVD and watch along with us.